So we'll move quickly to the next, uh, the next speaker. He's, he's kind of a little bit different. He's not a doctor. He's got a weird accent. He's kind of ugly. Um, uh, Zach Holdsworth. Zach is, the, uh, uh, Zach is the, one of the two co-founders of Hint. Uh, Graham Melcher is the other co-founder. You'll, you'll hear from him, too, as part of this discussion. I've been working with Zach. Um, I think they were about three or four or five months into the mission, and, uh, and what a fun ride it's been. And, um, Zach wants to give you some perspective on the company. Um, we got some feedback at last hint. Somebody said, can you just give us kind of, just teach a little bit more about kind of where you're heading to, kind of, kind of the things that you're thinking about that you're interested in? Um, so I think that's going to be shared as well. So with that, Zach Holdsworth. Welcome to, the, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yep, good, excellent. Welcome to the Hint Summit. It's so great to see so many old friends that I've got to know over the, over the last few years, but also to meet so many new and interesting people who all share a vision for breaking healthcare's status quo. Everyone in this room is pushing the boundaries for in a, in a system that is just so badly broken, is so badly broken. But in doing so, we're going to face together great challenges. And I'm, it's a real honor for us that you're here with us so that we can, we can face them together. So I'm, a, I'm an aerospace and sort of NASA freak. I love rockets. My team's going to roll their eyes when, the, when, when they hear the CEO talking about rockets again. But it's astounding to me that we waste NASA's budget since inception every year in the US healthcare system. And that's, actually, that's more confusing than my New Zealand accent is in English. <laughs> so among other things, this is caused by perverse incentives, unnecessary administrative burden, and also a lack of price transparency. So after speaking to folks like Dave and Rob and a number of other of those of you in the room, Graham and my co-founder Graham and I sh showed up to the first ever Direct Primary Care Coalition conference in St. Louis. It was this eclectic mix, Dino was there, this is a, a, a mix of, uh, there's a clique of people, you know, about 100 people all, all crammed into this tiny hotel conference room. There was even a guy playing a didgeridoo, which for those of you who don't know, it's, a, it's a, a, an Australian indigenous wind instrument that hasn't quite made it in America yet, uh, <laughs> but there's one gentleman trying to change that. Uh, but like I said, eclectic mix, but there was this community of people with just such passion uh, it, uh, and, and it really drew us in. And so, um, you know, what, what we quickly came to realize is that not only did this community share our frustrations, but also had figured out a better way. They'd figured out a way to create price transparent, incentive aligned business models that allowed them to, uh, without the administrative burden of the traditional third party payer system, which really allowed them to create amazing care. Uh, at cost-effective care and really and started to think, consider ways of scaling it. So, uh, you know, f f for us it was just sort of this amazing uh, experience of getting to know this community and we left, when we left there, you said, we looked at each other, you know what, I think this is it for us. We, we want to figure out ways that we can help support this community and continue to help accelerate direct care. Um, you know, it was, we found this community that had, it was sort of essentially surmounting this insurmountable hill. They'd figured out a way to make the impossible possible, and we wanted to become part of that journey. Um, and at the time, um, you know, at the time, the, uh, even thinking about healthcare made me anxious, which was a problem because my insurance didn't cover my psychiatric care. <laughs> Uh, but, um, but our vision at Hint became to, to power direct care and help make it the new standard. We believe that if we can bring these concepts that we're discussing here in this, in this meeting, if we can bring these concepts to millions or tens of millions or potentially even hundreds of millions of people, we could fundamentally change the way that healthcare is delivered uh, and bring high quality affordable care to everybody. So that's, that's the foundation of our vision and mission. And, um, that's also the why of the Hint Summit, is really to share that passion that we felt at that first conference with other people, to try to scale that, so we can, we can help foster a, a conversation with the, within the community, but we can also bring other people into the community and share that passion that we originally felt. So since then, we've come a long way. Um, you know, uh, the movement has been growing, right? So this is actually a really interesting cohort slide which shows uh, basically cohort analysis of our customers' growth. So each of those cohorts is growing really healthily, in some cases up to 200 or 300% on an annual basis, 
but it really is showing a, a very strong vector in the growth of the movement. Obviously, that's through the lens of our customer base, but, but we believe that's fairly representative of, of, of the growth of the movement. The other thing that's interesting is we now have hundreds of thousands of members uh, across our clients. There's a quarter of a billion dollars of, of direct care payments has flowed through our solution over, uh, uh, at, up to this point. And also, there's now thousands of locations popping up across, uh, across the country, and these are all um, our clients. Uh, so, so, you know, very exciting and we're, and we're uh, you, know, you know, really excited about the, the progress. Hasn't always been easy, though. Um, you know, we, uh, hang on, sorry, that's, that's the joke, hang on, all right. Yeah, yeah. It, the, the, it hasn't always been, in, <laughs> yeah, so you have to laugh <laughs> when, when the joke comes. Uh, so, so it hasn't, it hasn't always been an easy, easy journey, though. Right? We, we, I've person, I think people actually literally thought we were insane when we started this company. I still think quite a few people do. Um, hopefully not people in this room. But I've had to personally pitch more than 400 investors over the, over the life of this company. We're a technology company who need funds to continue building cool stuff to support our clients. Um, but, um, but in that journey, um, along the way, there's, I had a friend of mine who, uh, who kind of said to me, hey, Zach, I think, I think you might be a little bit too... You know, I think what the problem is is that you've been a little bit too New Zealand. Uh, and I, I just don't think people probably understand you. And I said, and he said, so why don't you try to be more Silicon Valley? <laughs> is that a good accent? Yeah, and I said, so I, I took that to heart. So this was me when I started pitching the company, really happy looking guy. Um, when I finished, by the time I finished pitching, this is what I looked like. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, but, but my friend sent me a picture and he said, you know what, Zach, I think you might have taken it a little bit too far. Me this photo. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so with that being said, um, you know, we're really happy to, uh, you know, obviously that you know, it hasn't all, all been sad. Um, we've had a great journey. Um, a lot of our, actually, a lot of the people who pitched are actually in, in, here in the room with us. I think Fred, Fred's in here somewhere. He, he kicked us out the first time we met him and then, you know, a year later, we came back, and I think he liked our persistence. Um, and so he's now a board member. So, so thanks, Fred, um, and the rest of our investors here. But one thing I'm, I am really excited to announce, we did recently close our Series A financing. So, uh, so these are our major investors who participated in, in the round. Um, and so you know, we're really excited about this because, again, it's indicative of the growth of the movement. And, uh, institutional, very you know, top quality institutional investors are starting to take notice of this movement. And, uh, and we believe that's a good thing because it's going to allow us to continue scaling with the movement. Uh, um, so obviously a lot of people have been asking me what do we plan to do with the funds. And actually, especially Fred, who keeps bugging me about that. Uh, but um, so I wanted to spend a few minutes just talking about our plans. Uh, so obviously, um, hang on, obviously the, um, you know, one of our plans is to continue scaling our team. About this time last year, at the Hint Summit last year, we were about seven people in our organization, seven or eight people. Now we're 15 full-time. We plan to be 35 at the, by the Hint Summit next time. So this is our hiring plans, really ag fairly aggressive hiring plans with a, with a strong focus on our technology organization, which is obviously what we do. Uh, the other thing, I guess, uh, we've really, as a company, really sort of historically focused on kind of three segments. The first is the small, you know, sol solo practice, direct primary care segment. This is where we started. Uh, this is where we started. I think uh, some of our early customers are in the room today, but, uh, the, the, you know, uh, I guess the f we're going to continue to focus on this segment. We've actually got some really interesting partnerships coming out, which I'll be announcing in a little bit, that we think can help support uh, the small practice segment, which we believe is a, is a crucial component to the continued success of the direct primary care movement. So that's one. As we obviously, what tends to happen is, group, you know, small practices tend to scale, and we've seen this. You saw that in the cohort analysis slide. But as these organisations start to scale into larger groups, or you know, multiple doctors, multiple locations, a lot of our recent focus from a technology perspective has been fast following those organisations, such that they can scale effectively on our platform. So that's been a, a large focus. We'll obviously be continuing to focus there. Uh, and more recently, um, what we're, you know, right now, sort of broad brush calling enterprise, but we're starting to see lots of really interesting, innovative things happening in direct care uh, with, you know, with, with networks forming, with groups selling to employers. Uh, there's lots of really interesting stuff happening there. And I think this is also 
an important segment. Um, and, and, and partly because I think this is going to be some of the ideas contained within the enterprise right now will allow this, this, this movement to perhaps scale to um, much larger numbers with, with employers or uh, who are starting to become interested. So, so that's, that's kind of a high level. What I'd like to do is introduce my co-founder, Graham. So Graham's really the brains of the operation. I'm just the guy that stands up here and kind of, you know, uh, tries to say intelligent things. But Graham's, uh, it's been a real honor to work with Graham. He's a technology genius. Um, he's a fantastic engineer and also a great leader. So I'd like to introduce Graham Melcher to spend a bit of time. Hello. Wow. It is truly an honor uh, to be a part of this event. Uh, looking out here and seeing all of you, uh, I could never have imagined this, you know, four or five years ago when we got started. Um, so, you know, just wow. Uh, it's, it's incredible. Um, and it's been a tremendous amount of work from when we started to, to get here, uh, and especially putting on this event today. So I just want to take a minute to thank everybody on our team, uh, all the Hint employees, especially Paul, who, who's head of marketing and pretty much the one-man show that puts this on. Uh, so thank you so much. <laughs> Any of the team that you don't see right there are asleep on the couches in the back. We <laughs> had an early start. Um, so I don't have a lot of time to give you sort of a product update of where we're going. Um, so this might feel a little bit like my last, uh, my last checkup. It's going to be fast. Uh, okay, so I am the uh, not only the CTO, but for a little while I've been the acting head of product at Hint. Um, how many of you are, are Hint customers? Just raise your hands. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about our uh, product strategy, how we think about product. Um, it is really driven and led by by our customers' needs. Um, so we, we ask you questions, we try to understand what's going on, and we do our best to listen. Um, I know what some of you may be thinking. Uh, there's been a few features on our <laughs> top of our feature request forum for a little while. That's uh, it's a, an embarrassingly long time. Uh, apologies, we've been a little bit short-staffed, and with the uh, funding, we're looking to, uh, to address some of that. But, um, What I want to talk to you about today is some of the customers who many have been on stage already today uh, who are really pioneering and, and pushing the boundaries of, of DPC and really pushing the boundaries of what our product can deliver. Um, and that's really driving you know, our, our product roadmap and where we see ourselves going. So these are you know, customers like Nextera, you know, Strata, MyMD Select, uh, and Redirect, uh, among others. So what are they doing, sort of broadly speaking? Uh, they have to cover a larger geographic footprint. They, they need to expand to, to service these you know, larger groups. They are selling to more sophisticated, larger buyers. Um, and they're starting to do more than just primary care. So what that means for us is you know, affiliate management, right? You need to, uh, you can't always build your own brick and mortar uh, clinics. You might be existing DPC doc in an area that you'd love to work with. How do you affiliate with them? How do you manage that relationship? When an employee or patient goes and enrolls, they want to, you want to be able to you know, choose which doctor from the list. Uh, and based on that selection, be dropped into the correct hint, hint account um, and, and have that flow all the way down to their EMR. Um, you really need a data strategy, something that's come up a number of times. Um, when you have providers who may not all be using the same EMR, um, they may be geographically all over the place, you know, how do you standardize and think about your, your data strategy, your collecting, your reporting, um, and bringing that all together? Um, I think we also have a big opportunity here to, to redefine value, how we measure value, how we, how we, how we collect it. Um, and then moving beyond primary care, um, thinking about you know, partnering with uh, some kind of wraparound insurance plan, um, monitoring and, and coming up with you know, cash-based 
fee schedules with downstream providers that you can offer, um, and, and you know you are the entry point for you know for most healthcare dollars, and so being able to help direct that to effective, low-cost options. Um, and some of these networks are actually paying the downstream providers up front and then either absorbing that cost in their PMPM or passing the, that cost along to an employer or, or to the patient or, or both. Um, so we believe we can actually help with all of these things. Um, it's a lot to do and it's not something we can do alone. So we're also, we have a number of great partners, um, Spruce, Alation, KPI Ninja, and we're actively seeking more to create a, a really comprehensive solution that um, can be used to really power uh, these, these pioneering providers. Um, and with the team that we've hired, uh, an amazing team, I think we're really up to the challenge. Quick note, um, we're also working on kind of reskinning, uh, creating a new UI for our product. If you're interested in seeing a sneak preview, please see me or one of the other hint people at our, uh, at our podium. Um, and we'll give you a, a, a preview. Uh, so one of the lessons I've learned um, while starting a company is that things can and will change often unexpectedly. So I've stopped giving specific timelines on when a feature will be live or where exactly we'll be in, in a year or even six months. Um, so while some of these details may change, uh, what I can say is that what won't change is our focus on growing DPC, on keeping doctors whole, and maintaining DPC as the core of this amazing transformation that's happening today in the US healthcare system, powered by all of you. Uh, it's a movement that we're incredibly excited and honored to be a part of. Thank you. Some of you think, we good? Yep, some of you think, probably think we should keep Graham up here as my translator. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you can understand me. All right, so I'd like to spend a little bit of time uh, making a few announcements uh, and talking about some of our key partners. So first of all, I want to spend some time talking about Hint Connect. And for those of you who don't know, Hint Connect is our technology partner ecosystem. It's really uh, the way that our system can talk to other systems in a way that means you don't need to sort of put it multiply, you know, put data into multiple different systems manually. Uh, so today, with that, so I guess at a high level, um, Hint Connect's been very successful for us as a program. But there also have been some challenges. So for example, right now, uh, it can be difficult to communicate with multiple teams, right? Um, there's pricing strategies um, across different companies. So these are some of the things we're starting to uh, kind of work with some of our partners to try to figure out how to streamline, such that the end kind of user or purchaser of that product has a more smooth experience. So that's sort of a high level of something we're working on. The other thing we've been really pushing towards is bring, bringing our partners up to kind of what we're calling premium partners, which really is about seamless data flow, bi-directional data flow across our platforms. So data entered in any single system will real-time sync across any other system that's connected to Hint Connect. So that's another really big push that we've been making. But today with us, we're um, excited to have uh, three of, our, uh, of our, our key partners. First is Elation, who is actually our oldest uh, Hint Connect partner. They um, have built a beautiful uh, patient-centered um, and patient-physician-centered EHR. And um, we share a lot of clients uh, with, with, with Elation. But we're excited to be announcing that Elation will be, um, for those of you in the audience who are interested, uh, we will be launching a, a kind of a version two premium integration with them uh, in Q3, Q4 this year. So that's really exciting. Our other partner, Spruce, who you've heard today been mentioned, it's the by far the most, um, it's got by far the best, you know, patient communication uh, by, you know, between office visits. You don't have to ask them and they're, they're lightning taught to do a better job, but it's just a fantastic product. We hear so many great things about Spruce. Um, and so we're really excited to have, have them with us here today as well. And one of our newer partners, KPI Ninja, who has also been mentioned a few times, is building a solution, um, but beside, bes you know, despite their name, <laughs> is building a really cool solution. Um, I like to tease these guys about their name. Um, but despite, yeah, despite their name, building a really cool uh, solution that allows you to aggregate data across multiple data sources. 
uh, and thus uh, unlocking the potential of, of you know, being able to substantiate value and really understand your business in more granular level. So these are, uh, we're really excited to have these partners with us here today. Please um, go see them at their booths, and also they'll be doing, uh, each of these companies will be doing a tech talk in, in, a, in an hour or so. So that's, we're excited about that. Another couple of partnerships that we're really, really excited to be announcing today. Um, you know, one of the problems, one of the problems we've identified with, um, uh, you know, that, that's sort of um, something that's been a, somewhat of a challenge for, for us is often a consumer or, or purchaser of direct primary care or direct care product also has to purchase some kind of insurance product, which also includes primary care and is often very expensive. It just isn't really high performance or direct care, it's not really what you, you, know, you want. So what you end up having is you end up having a product that is more expensive and not as good, right? Because you've got to pay for primary care and some kind of insurance product. Um, and uh, and so, so this is something we've been thinking a lot about. And today we're very excited to be announcing that in Q4 this year, we'll be launching the Sidera Health Partnership, which is Sidera's... Um, you know, a medical cost sharing uh, uh, community that's really been inspired by the modern sharing economy. And what the product um, we're announcing today is uh, in Q4, as a Hint client, you'll be able to go into your Hint account uh, and basically um, connect to Sidera such that at the checkout during the enrollment process for uh, your direct primary care patients, they can also choose to elect to also purchase Sidera and it's going to be priced and bundled such that the value that direct primary care delivers is factored into the pricing. So the total cost of this product is going to be, you know, um, I don't want to quote too many numbers because I might get some into trouble, but let's say you know, 10, 20 to 30% less expensive than the bronze, you know, high deductible plan on the exchange, a bronze plan, but it will include both direct primary care as well as a, uh, a medical cost sharing product that is just really awesome. And so we're very excited about this partnership, and we'll be launching this this year. Uh, and Jamie Lagarde, are you, are you here? Jamie, go, go talk to Jamie. Great guy, and, and the CEO of Sidera. So, uh, the other partnership we're really excited about is Decent Health. Decent's a new health insurance product, with, which, is, which has direct primary care at the center. So you're not going to be able to purchase this plan unless you also have a direct primary care doctor, because they've realized the fundamental shift in thinking, uh, 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 basically the, in the, the fundamental value of direct care, and want to build it from first principles into their community. So this is another partnership we're very excited about. We'll be, in, we'll be launching this partnership in Q1 next year. Uh, so, you know, very excited about these two partnerships. Please, uh, Nick, are you in the room? Yep. Nick Solomon. Founder Nick over there, he's another great guy. You should go chat with him as well and uh, learn all about it. He's going to do a much better job than I just did. Uh, so that's it for announcements. Uh, so before I was sort of preparing my, um, I was preparing my speech, and I pinged a few of my friends and people in my community. I wanted to get a sort of pulse for what people thought about healthcare, and so some of the responses I got back were sort of interesting or somewhat amusing. So I just want to share some of them with you here today. Um, these were some of the, these were some of the responses I got from my community. So the current healthcare system is so badly broken that when I need an X-ray, my provider is the TSA. <laughs> with pre- with pre-check, I'm in and out in five minutes. So you like you guys like the one? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> the next one was I thought this was interesting. U.S. healthcare is so bad that even actors have stopped telling each other to break a leg. <laughs> That's a little bit better. Okay, good. I like this one. The current healthcare system is so expensive that when my doctor said I should get a second opinion, I asked the receptionist. <laughs> this is, it, I think, is my personal favourite uh, because I'm, I'm, from, I'm from New Zealand. You know the current healthcare system is bad when Britain does it better. <laughs> Any poms in the room? Probably are. Yeah. There's one down there. All right, there we go. Uh, and last but by no means least, our current healthcare system is so broken that even Congress is like, this is broken. <laughs> so that, that last point actually, um, you know, uh, I think is, you know, one of the things I hope that we can get away, uh, take away from this conference is that 
Um, with this movement, as it continues to evolve, as employers start to get interested in purchasing scale, as the government starts to look at rolling up pilots, there are, I think there's some, there's some challenges that as a community we need to be really thoughtful about, um, such that we're not kind of putting, threatening the integrity of the direct primary care movement. I truly believe that in order to accelerate it, we need to work with all parties. We need to figure out how to make this movement scale so that it can get to the masses. But I think we need to do it really thoughtfully. So I think there's some very hard questions and challenges that as a community we need to f focus on. And so that's one of my objectives for this conference is that we can address some of the harder problems and we can get all the people in the room so that we can talk about it. Um, but that being said, um, you know, I'm very bullish. I'm very excited, obviously. Um, and you know, for me, the summit is really about sharing the passion that Graham and I felt at that first conference with, with the wider community. Uh, and yeah, and it's a real honor to have you here. Uh, and thank you so much for attending. And I've just got one final announcement. Is if you're interested, we figured we'd give people a little bit more warning this year. This is the hold the date for the summit in 2019. So April, April, April 2019, 95% sure it'll be this date. It may change, but you can hold the date around this. And if there's a change, we'll let you know. So we'd love to have you next year. Thank you for all being part of our community and helping us jointly accelerate direct care so we can make it the new standard.